I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about L-DOPA as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. L-DOPA is an amino acid that is naturally synthesized in your brain by the amino acid uh, tyrosine. L-DOPA is a necessary precursor to the uh, neurotransmitter dopamine. Called a catecholamine, dopamine is then synthesized into the other catecholamines, epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, and norepinephrine, also known as noradrenaline. Dopamine cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, but L-DOPA can. This is why we supplement with L-DOPA rather than dopamine. And for a dopamine boost, neurohackers use mucunipurians, which contains high levels of L-DOPA. This legume is native to the tropical regions of India, Africa, and the West Indies. And it's also known as velvet bean, and it's been used in Ayurvedic medicine since 1500 BC. The ancients used mucunipurians to treat things like snake bite, intestinal problems, sexual issues, and melancholy mood. Raising levels of the neurotransmitter dopamine in your brain helps regulate mood and cognition. Mucunipurians is an extract of the velvet bean plant that grows 3 to 18 meters in height. L-DOPA or levodopa is usually synthetic and is made in the lab. Now the natural version of L-DOPA from Mucunipurians is generally well tolerated by most people and the compounds are almost bioidentical to those chemicals that are naturally made in your body. But that's not so with synthetic L-DOPA. Synthetic L-DOPA is metabolized into dopamine in your body by an enzyme called aromatic alamino acid decarboxylase, or AADC. The majority of synthetic L-DOPA will be converted peripherally, that is not in the central nervous system in the brain, and this can cause problems. So when used therapeutically, as in treating Parkinson's disease, L-DOPA is administered in combination with an inhibitor of peripheral AADC. Drugs like carbidopa ensure that most of the L-DOPA is preserved for conversion to dopamine in the brain and not the rest of the body. Now this is critical for uh, nootropics users to understand. Because chronic prolonged use of synthetic L-DOPA can lead to things like dyskinesia. This is a movement disorder where the neurological discoordination results in uncontrollable and involuntary movements. Now I'm not telling you this to dissuade you from using L-DOPA. Stick with the extract of mucunipurians and you should be fine. The first way L-DOPA works in the brain is it improves memory. It's met metabolized into dopamine in your body by the enzyme called aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase, and this increases dopamine levels in your brain. Now, researchers at the University of Munster in Germany conducted a study with 40 healthy people. In this randomized double-blind study, they gave one group 100 milligrams of levodopa daily for five days, and the other took a placebo. 90 minutes later on each, on each day, subjects were given a memory test based on vocabulary. The study found that levodopa significantly enhanced the speed and overall success and long-term retention of novel words. And the second way L-DOPA helps the brain is it helps promote brain health. Research uh, suggests that mucunipurians protects your brain by regulating cognitive and neural functions and even encouraging neural activity. Researchers in India showed that mucunipurians is a powerful antioxidant. They performed assays to evaluate the enzymatic and non-enzymatic antioxidants and extracts. They found high levels of flavonoids, alkaloids, tannic acids, gallic acids, quercetin uh, equivalents, and cetosterol equivalents. All of these compounds scavenge for free radicals in your brain. Free radicals are formed during normal brain activity, uh, like the synthesis of ATP that fuels your mitochondria. Now your brain, brain is equipped to eliminate some of these free radicals on its own. But especially in today's environment in which we live, your brain is overwhelmed. Free radicals cause inflammation which damages and can kill brain cells, affecting memory, learning, recall, cognition, and mood. 
Macuna priorans has been proven to be very effective in, as a brain inflammation fighter. It even has the ability to chelate heavy metals like mercury and lead in brain cells. And it's antibacterial. Now, Macuna priorans helps your brain make naturally occurring neuronal pigments called neuromelanins. They're similar to the melanin found in your skin, and they're often found in regions of your brain where your dopamine is active. The synthesis of neuromelanins in various regions of your brain is an important protective process. The melanin, melanic component is generated through the removal, removal of reactive uh, toxic quinones that would otherwise cause neurotoxicity. This melanic component promoted by Macuna purirans chelates and accumulates toxic heavy metals like mercury and lead, preventing them from damaging brain cells. Macuna purirans extract contains high levels of L-DOPA, the precursor to the critical neurotransmitter dopamine. Dopamine is further synthesized into the neurotransmitters epinephrine and norepinephrine. Dopamine plays a critical role in learning and absorbing new information. Increasing brain levels of dopamine helps regulate mood and boost cognition. Research also suggests that Macuna purans provides an antioxidant effect that defend against uh, oxidative damage caused by free radicals. Neurohackers report that using Macuna purians helps in multitasking, improving motivation, more focus, less stress, and a sense of calm. You could find your energy levels increase, um, less brain fog, and a boost in overall mood, and a positive outlook on life, and even an increase in libido. Now, we've got plenty of research behind L-DOPA, of course, uh, in the study of things like Parkinson's disease, but also in Macuna purians that we use for the L-DOPA in nootropics. If you go over to Nootropics Expert and you search for L-DOPA, you'll find the transcript of this video, or you can find the link below this video. Go to the article and you'll see links through to clinical studies like uh, Macuna purians helps reduce stress. And I've got another study on how L-DOPA has been proven to improve learning and how L-DOPA is used as an antidepressant. So check out the clinical studies in the transcript over on Nootropics Expert. L-DOPA, or Macuna Purian's 98% extract, suggested dosage for cognitive benefit is 250 to 500 milligrams a day. Now, I recommend that you cycle the use of L-DOPA, um, or Macuna Purian's, and use it for only four or five days a week. This will help avoid tolerances and dependencies, which are common with a dopamine agonist. L-DOPA is produced naturally in your body, so it's considered well-tolerated and safe. And L-DOPA from Macuna Purian's extract is particularly well-tolerated by most people. Research shows that the natural form of L-DOPA from Macuna Purian's compared to, compared to the synthetic version of L-DOPA, like Levodopa, provides similar results, but without the common side effects of nausea, vomiting, and involuntary muscle movement. But be very careful when working with dopamine. Too much and you can experience symptoms like hair loss, auditory and visual hallucinations, uh, psychosis, dyskinesia, and, and more. And of course, if you begin to experience any of these side effects, stop supplementing with L-DOPA or Macuna purians immediately. And like any natural supplements, it's always better to find an organic source. Macuna purians is typically available in powder, capsule, or tablet form. Some are pure, dried Macuna purians powder. Several manufacturers offer Macuna purians extracts ranging from 15 to 98% L-DOPA. You can usually tell how many milligrams of L-DOPA by looking at the ingredients on the label of the product that you select. A few manufacturers call it velvet bean extract 
which is with a percentage of L-DOPA in each capsule or tablet. It's the same thing as mechanopurines. Try to find organic or certified organic if you can. And for nootropic use, avoid synthetic L-DOPA, L-DOPA, or levodopa, which is typically used to treat Parkinson's disease. So my nootropics expert recommendation for L-DOPA as Makuna uh, Puri ends is 250 to 500 milligrams a day. And that's my report on L-DOPA. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, uh, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for L-DOPA, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using L-DOPA, please use the comments section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.